Copenhagen by Crystal Dew. That was the intro song of the day. Everyone, so we headed out to the tea store, or not we, I headed out to the tea store today. Or actually, my local convenience store picked up a can of Copenhagen snuff. I uh, broke the lid, so there's a skull cherry cap on here, but look, you can still see Copenhagen snuff. God, ah, but I want it. I don't know why. Some sick satisfaction. Actually, tastes pretty decent. It was cheap, so I got this garbage. There's more in here. All right. Ah, oh, another one of this garbage. And. Here comes the best of the best that I bought today. Da -da 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 the best from the day. Skull straight long cut, motherfucker. We got the butterfly knife out here to open this bad boy up. Let's try not cutting my own wrists open. That would be a plus. You really don't need a knife to cut it. It's like showing off my knives. And this is probably the only time you'll see me crack a tin on camera because I've dipped this shit so much. I know what it's going to taste like. Unless it's, uh... Let's check the date. Tin looks a little bigger than their normal normal tin. That's weird. As as you can probably tell, the mud jug of the day will be the Southern Pride mud jug. Skull straight long cut. Nah, I can't. I can't saliva today. What is it? What is this? I can't. How am I gonna spit? Is it a normal thing to put it upside down when you crack it? Because I think, uh, I, I don't, of my friends, I'm the only one who does this. Everyone else just cracks it normal, but you can barely, you can't really even tell. You can, that, that's like the one spot I fucked up in. Barely see that's cracked. Let's get in dab for this stuff. You ready for it? Cause I am. It's very nice, nice and moist. Can already tell it's gonna be a good day with this. Don't have a big pinch right here, but uh, start off slow because. Of course.
Man, that's good. That is good. I haven't had that in a while. Shit, fuck me, man. See, I was planning on saying more of that pinch so my fingers, but uh, that pinch did not want to stay in my fingers. It was it was falling out if I kept it there. And uh, I don't know if you saw it, but I spilled a little, putting it in the uh, putting the dip ski in the lip ski. If I like to reference Mud Jug One. Mm. So good. So, so good. Man. I could dip this shit forever. I'm just playing with a knife. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, man, it's so good, though. It's a nice straight. If you like straights, obviously you're going to love this, but, uh, I don't know. It doesn't exactly taste like all of the straights. I'm trying to think, what's that other flavor? There's definitely another flavor in here. See the expiration date is on this. Maybe this is definitely just cut. Look at this. The sell by February tenth, twenty thirteen. So I literally got the shipment into this. The guy at the store called me when they got it in. He gave, gave him my number. Told him that he'd make sure so he can get the whole log of it. <laughs> Uh, you can't tell I fucking love Skull Straight. There's only two dips on this earth better than Skull Straight. And they're both Copenhagen dips. Copenhagen Long Cut and Copenhagen Southern Blend Long Cut. Alright, Southern Blend only comes in Long Cut, right? By the way, both of those are just fucking awesome. So all you see is a little something pride, motherfucker. Oh man, I'm just obsessed with this skull straight though, because of those three dips, it's the only one I can really get around here. The only Copenhagen straight I can get is in the snuff. Which I tell I like the taste of the snuff, I just hate the snuff itself. So I don't really get it. Because Skull and Copenhagen are running seven bucks a fucking tin on Long Island. It's gotta be the most expensive dip in the country. And, uh. So I figure I'm not gonna buy. If I don't really like snuff that much, I'm not gonna buy it if I'm not in love with it. But every once in a while, I like to buy it just for the flavor and I'll suck it up. I do like to get that Copenhagen flavor every once in a while. Because Copenhagen straights taste more tobacco y than Skull straight. Like, you know what I mean? More. Like, this almost tastes like it has a hint of. Syrup? Yeah. Maybe a syrup, maybe like cherry even? Huh. Pack this up and get a whiff. Strange. Yeah. It tastes like there's almost a little hint of cherry in here. Very, very weak. Oh, it's not like, it doesn't, not, you're not like you're doing cherry dip. Not, not even, well, not, don't get me wrong. This is barely, you have to like look for it almost. So, uh, one of the reasons I noticed is because I was so psyched to have the, uh, finally get my straight long cut back. I was just wallowing in these flavor. And I was like, wait, hold up a sec. I never noticed it before. But, uh, I can live with it. I like it. 
I hope, since I bought a fucking log of it, I hope they keep ordering it. <laughs> you know, it's bad when you've only had a lip in for eight minutes and your spit is already thick. For some reason, I cannot get this shit. It's not like the spit, not the dip. Like, to be normal, I can't get any saliva today. And, uh, I don't know. Mmm, ah. that's hot. So, oh, can't tell, I got a new hat. It's different than my usual cowboy hat. I don't know if y'all can see the inside, it's uh, wait, okay, try it, Cavendish, favorite store, I don't know why, my hat looks like it's sitting awkwardly on my head, on the camera, but it's not, it's facing straight, huh, I'm gonna put some thought into that, I love this hat though. It's a little lighter than my old one. So, I like it. It's more comfortable. I, know that my, I like this one because it comes a little lower with my eyes. Alright. I've really got poop. So, I'm going to cut this video short. Questions, comments, and concerns below. Thank you for watching. Dixie Dipper 711. See you next time.